like the final snow melts, the blooming of flowers, the blossoming of trees. There is that palpable excitement. The seasons have turned, better weather and better things lay ahead. That excitement of a new season and the excitement of the return of the LPGA Tour of Korea. As we say good afternoon, everybody, you are more than welcome to the Lotte Sky Hill course here on the beautiful island of Jeju. We are ready for the Lotte Rent-A-Car Ladies Open as we say hello to 2023 and hello to a brand new graphics package that is cascading on your screen right now showing you where we stand as we begin for the very first time at long last our coverage of the LPGA Tour of Korea. 120 <laughs> players in the field and speaking of snazzy new graphics let's take a look at some of the groupings teeing off at hole number one 1205 local time chi han sol Park young young in a very exciting group speaking of excitement ea1 the leading rookie and one of the best on tour in jet with one of the two international players that will be competing this week lynn grant the 23 year old from sweden Ji. She is also a member of one of our featured groups. She currently sits just outside of the top 10 in a tie for 16th at one under par. Our leader with an incredible opening round of 64. Very much worth watching as the weekend progresses. Chung Sumi, absolutely brilliant, putting up Plenty of birdies across this Lotte Sky Hill course. Juwan Ani Sung Ju, Chen Yi Sung, Ji Young with rounds of 69 as we take a look at the approach shot for Peng Min Ji on the par 4 sixth. Looking for the center of this screen, had quite a bit of draw to it and misses not only the putting surface but the fringe as well. Coming up in the rough, she will be chipping from a tricky lie when she reaches the green with the rest of the group, which they have done now. These courses, especially this time of year, on Jeju, known for the wind, it is certainly something to pay close attention to for the duration of the round. It is a decent effort, that. From the French to within five feet or so. Should be a nearly automatic Put the park, excuse me. You always ask yourself at the beginning of a new season who will dominate the headlines, who are some names, who are some faces that we have yet to be introduced to, or at least who have yet to proliferate into the consciousness of those who followed this tour so avidly. certainly one of our shining examples in 2022. Those winds that I mentioned currently at two meters per second, it's 12 degrees, broken cloud layer in the sky as we get our first look at the Swede, Lynn Maria Grant. She is even through five, this to finally get her under par and into that tie for 16th, just over four meters out. Definite downhill, definite break to this putt. I imagine she's going to want to ride the crest a little bit, putt towards us to start it. And the line was okay. Just didn't quite have the power, being mindful that she didn't really want to overshoot. She will settle for yet another par. sensational in the early stages of her career typically on the LPGA tour and ladies European tour the winner of the 2017 ladies British Open amateur stroke play championship she was also certainly in the mix of the 2018 and 2020 US Women's Open the native of Helsingborg EA1 in a similar situation in terms of distance and opportunity this to get to one under as well it's absolutely no mistake. Not only the 
the best full-fledged newcomer of the tour last year, but finished fourth in the money list as well. Just an absolutely exceptional year, and she will be hoping to carry that momentum into this new season as we take a look at the par 3 eighth. That is a 143 meter effort down the hill and sand all along the perimeter of this green. Three pot bunkers off the front. Pin placement in this opening round. Nine yards from the back end. Eight yards from the left side. You can see you definitely do not want to miss short. You'll get stuck in that little gully that separates the green in half. And the first of the tee shots. It is falling into that front third and not going to have enough to climb up the hill. We'll return to eight in a few moments' time. In the meantime, into the fairway we go. The ball just beneath the feet of Yi Jung Min. Her approach at six. Straddled the hill for a moment, rolls a foot or two closer to the front of the green, but she will be able to contend with that. There have been breakout seasons, ups and downs in the young career of Pak Young Young. Certainly would like to see more of 2021 than she did last year, where she just couldn't maintain that level of consistency. But calendar flips a chance to get away from the game for a little bit, work on some areas of weakness, and most importantly, just take that mental break that these players need after a grueling season and will feel as inspired and optimistic as anyone else that this can be her year. Pick up a few more wins. Of course, early in the season is her best tournament by a mile, which is, of course, the first major of the season at the end of the month, the Chris FNC this year, 45th KLPGA Championship that will be played at Lakewood. John now, she's two over. Bit of a rocky start to the event for the athlete who finished fifth in the money list last season. Just comes up a little bit right of the green, but that sets up in a decent spot for her in the fringe. Increase in the purse for this season opener of 18 million one this season to a total of 144 million for the winner, 800 million split amongst the field. A bit of a different route that looks to find the back half of the green for the LPGA Tour of Korea sophomore. Sweden not quite ready, so that will allow us to 
Head on back to the par three. This is a 36 hole facility here at Lotte Sky Hill. For our purposes, we will be focused on the 18 holes to the north of the wonderfully maintained grounds. Sky course, holes one through nine, the ocean course. 10 through 18. What is a lengthy birdie putt? Decent speed control on a putt where she couldn't really ask for a whole lot more. Always attack, always want to go for the low score, but in a distance like that, you just hope you're close enough in the end that you're not sweating the par putt. It's now the third for Bung Min Ji. Couldn't quite get it to bite in time. Seen a fair bit of rain here this week. The greens will be playing soft. Also means those thicker areas of rough are a touch more punishing. Uphill effort didn't quite have the line to hit the stick and provide an assist. Really a sweet, sweet line on that. A little bit softer hit. Without the flag, it might go, but didn't want to leave anything off on that. Jung Min still at even. Oh, it struck very well. Disappointment at the end is it had that late kick to deny her her birdie and chance to get under. It bogeyed the Par for third, follow that up with a birdie on four to get the stroke back. Four pars on the day as she remains in a tie for 29th. From this lie, the option to go pitching wedge or putter is the latter and that's why can be that confident when the fringe acts as a soft landing spot. It's a two putt par. It's starting to drift back right, but not in time for Bung Min Ji. Needed that to salvage a result here at six. She will be dropped back down to even. The punishment for having missed the green and landing in the rough a couple of shots prior.
This looks like it has a chance if it has the speed, yes. Just grazing the inside left edge. That's back to back, excuse me, the first birdie of the day prior to this hole and she does go and improve on that score. Starting to put together a little tail of momentum. And Grant, unfortunately unable to grab any of the perimeter of the hole. So two putt for the Swede as we take a look at the overview of seven. 307 meters is this par four, slightly uphill from the teeing grounds. Bunkers all over the right side of the fairway. One as well to the left before it starts to zigzag its way towards the hole. And with that, slope just before it straightens out the runway towards the green you have that almost hidden bunker off to the right and it's really just dodging the sand all the way through when they eventually make it to the green we find our pin today in round one seven and seven that's seven yards off the front and seven yards from the right generally a down sloping green as well Jungmin, she is been around the tour for quite some time now. Had some incredible moments of brilliance last season. Sun has completely disappeared on us now. Temperature cooling off as well as EA1 plays her tee shot at the par three. Plenty of loft as it drops out of the sky and continue to move back towards the center. It's a daunting uphill putt, regardless of where it eventually comes to a stop. Final par three on this front nine. That would have seen the shortest on course, only 125 meters, the fifth. As we take a look across the course towards the clubhouse and the gloomy skies, but doing little to dampen the spirits of the energy and excitement that accompanies the first round of the season. And we will have a long march through the calendar with plenty of highs to expect and no doubt we will have our fair share here this week at Cheju.
올해도 드림이드 버디 캠페인에 참여하고 있는데요. 제 버디 하나하나가 자립 준비하시는 청소년분들에게 많은 도움이 된다고 하니까 사명감을 가지고 버디를 더 많이 할수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. 올해 드림이드 버디 캠페인에 처음으로 참여하게 되었는데요. 어, 저의 버디 하나하나가 자립 준비 청년들에게 많은 도움이 될 거라고 생각하니까 저도 매 순간 힘이 나고 최선을 다해서 플레이할 것 같습니다. 혼자서 자립을 준비한다는 게 쉬운 일은 아니지만 그래도 둘러보면 세상에는 좋은 사람들이 많이 응원을 하고 있을 거예요. 그러니까 힘든 순간이 와도 주위를 둘러보고 도움을 요청하면서 저희도 많이 도와줄 수 있는 사람들이 될 테니까 힘든 순간에도 포기하지 않고 열심히 살았으면 좋겠습니다. 화이팅! 저의 버디 하나가 매 경기 기쁨이 된다는 마음으로 최선을 다하겠습니다. 화이팅! 뭐, no longer even the present and the future of this tour. Those two certainly combine to be favorites heading into each and every week. And it didn't take Meng Min Ji very long last year to pick up where she had left off. Took just six events before she recorded her first win of the season. Kept off with her fifth win mid November, La Vie Bell. Speaking of capping off the year, Lee Jung Min, our final winner of the season, the PLK Pacific Links Korea Championship with SBS Golf. That, in some ways, makes her the defending champion on tour. It's got to get up and it's got to get left for EA1. She read the putt exquisitely. Knew no. that there'd be that move to the inside. Once it did get uphill, wasn't quite able to adjust enough. Par will keep her inside of the top 10. She came to be a consistent presence in the top 10 of tournaments. She is still looking for that maiden victory. Now Lynn Grant, similar in that the miss is to the left. Call this a gimme either. It's about four feet still remaining. Right, that scorecard, and it is exactly even as she nears the turn. to left and perfectly online. She makes up for the drop shot at the last Peng Min Ji. By season's end, it was a very, very comfortable 
margin of victory on the money list. 1.48 billion won. That is nearly the entirety of the purse of our richest tournament this year, which will be 1.67 billion. But that's just for one person, one season. Not a bad year of work as she cleared Kim Soo Ji, who was the only other player to earn over a billion won in 2022. Jamin. Oh, she's automatic from that distance. Nicely played. Seventh hole, and she gets her dividends from what is something of a systematic approach game. Xiu gets that within five meters or so, just on the north side of the flag. Teed off at 11.55, just before noon this morning in group 23. to reach the eighth and the first to tee off after her bird. And not quite enough carry to get all the way there. Especially considering the downhill nature of this eighth hole, they will appreciate the fact that the wind is almost non-existent, at least at the green, blowing a bit more steadily up the tee blocks. Many areas of Fung Min Ji's game that were outside of the top 10 of the tour last year. Driving distance has never been her forte, but it is the greens and regulation that often really help her go low. She had the third most top 10 finishes of anyone. And once again, finds herself in the thicket of grass, and that's even awfully close to the bunker. We'll see exactly what the lie is momentarily, but still calibrating her tee shots inevitably in the first few holes of the round. There's a great approach shot and a birdie well earned. Maybe not the best day to head down to the beach, but I mean, it's really not a bad day to be on Jeju, just an absolutely gorgeous island, the south of the country. It will be tough sledding for anyone trying to catch up and even get within reaching distance of our leader. An incredible opening round from Chung Soe, who leads the field in the clubhouse at eight under par. This is our coverage of the opening event of the season here at the Lotte Rent-A-Car Ladies Open. Back right after this.
Well, luckily for Minji, she was able to avoid the worst of a miss hit tee shot and put herself in a fairly promising position as she looks to avoid suffering from a missed green in regulation. Back to the par three in a moment, but in the meantime, head to the fairway on the approach at nine. She lands that Buck Young Young just inches away from the hole, almost dunked it for a highlight reel finish, and she gets that little tail back to sit pretty for just a short tap in to go low. Please stop, please, thank you. Stop. Jungmin and her caddy asking for quiet on the back side of the green. When you're as tall as she is, the hole not quite camouflaged fully, but this is a significant uphill 8.4 meter putt. She tries to move to two under. It's gonna start to the right for us and hope for Lee Jungmin that it comes back. But even if it had, the pace required, it likely would have stayed to the inside of the target. Final hole of the front nine is a long one at 440 meters. Fairway wood in hand for EA1, and she takes a good chunk of the remaining yardage. And that's going to be one that Peng Min Ji would love to have back. It was 180 degrees around the hole, but doesn't end on a positive. Takes a little nudge to drop again that bogey. Takes her to even. No, Lynn Grant. Her second, she's got a little bit more power. She's gone with the iron here. She's gonna get a fortuitous kick from the hill just before the rough. And the main thing right now, while it's not quite as sunny and warm as it will be when we head back to Jeju later in the year, the wind for the most part is calm, at least relative to what it could be as we see the birdie finalized for Buckingham Young. We've seen a few of our groups here on nine, but now that we have one of our featured groups to reach it, we can give you the full look. Again, 440 meters is the distance of it, about 230 to 200 meters remaining is what we would expect after the tee shots. From there we go downhill over the cart path. Won't see too, too many where those two first pot bunkers on the left are really in play. And speaking of the left, that is not an area that you want to mess around with, with the downhill into the treacherous long grass. And there's one more hurdle to clear. That is the bunker just before the hole. And once the green is reached, it's about the exact center for a pin placement today. 10 yards from the left edge and two thirds of the way through the depth of the green. Lee Jung means she will tee off first. 
Great swing with the driver, at least on the surface. The body language tells you that she might have just caught that on the heel of the club face. Pulls it a little bit to the left, and she'll be off the fairway after her first. coming just a little bit shy, but for Amy Jung, it was going to take quite the rip to lift it up and through the rough. <laughs> well, I mentioned she is not known as a power hitter with driver. Fung Min Ji, only the 44th longest average distance, she is typically pretty accurate with that club 15th at 76% fairways in regulation through the 22 tournaments she participated in last year. This is Grant, she's gonna get a little bit of backspin. Fortunately, with the where the pin is located, the backspin means down the hill it will go. Decent bit of wedge play, just would have, in a perfect world, had about five meters more carry. Similar, might even play bumper balls, and we do. There is that wind starting to say, hey, remember me, just a little bit. Yeah, Juan and Lynn Grant side by each, but both on the green. five on the back nine to reach the top of the leaderboard and some momentum being carried into the 10th hole. Would have been one of the best putts of the day had it gone all the way in. Only about four meters remain for Chung Xiu. Currently in a tie for third. Eventually, Jung is going to need some of these trips to the green to turn into birdies as she works her way back towards even, considering where she was short of the green. That's a pretty good end result. Fairway to fairway. An uneventful second shot, which on a par five is often a good thing, especially when you're playing from the rough, from rough to fairway, I should say. So on nine, 
Pogiram. She was well on line to get buried. She got a bit of a kick, but not enough to really send her a lifeline. Also the iron for Bung Min Ji with her second. Lands softly in the middle of the fairway. stayed straight as an arrow. It only broke for Lynn Grant at the end when she was level with the hole and unfortunately it broke in the wrong direction. Appreciative of the polite applause but it will be a bit of a underwhelming front nine <coughs> for the alumna of Arizona State University. Not exactly the same putt, but considering it's awfully close, the A1 will probably want to start this to our left of the hole, which she does. And in a confounding way, that putt didn't seem to break at all. The tap in par for her, she goes out with a 34. Good start to the day. over through eight. A nice recovery from the rough. It is officially 50% of the way through for Yimin Jung. Tough to find a perfect approach, especially when her yardage was limited by finding the rough off the tee. She is on the green, but the really only the front quarter. That's gonna start downhill and then need to get all the way up and really need to watch your distance. Here is on the other side once you're parallel with the pin. It's going downhill immediately after that. Very nice recovery from up the hill in the rough. Pick up a 
Runs a little left to right here with the ball just above Bung Minji's feet. Course corrected with the wind and beneath our scoreboard there, there we see it. Able to sail about four feet past the pin and far from a straightforward birdie attempt, but someone who putts as well as she does have to think it's realistic. Oh, we're nearing the top of the hour on Jeju, and the name we'll keep the closest eye on, at least at the minute, is Chung Shiyu, who is five back through nine of our leader, who continues to be Chung Sung-yi. sung with a nice opening round of a two under 70. Same with Coach Yu and others in that long tie down for ninth. We have 10 athletes at that score after day one or currently in progress. Our feature groups will make their way towards the 10th tee in the end of nine, and we will rejoin them in just a few moments. Through the first half of the round, birdies have been a bit of a luxury for Lee Jun-min. 
Remains the case on nine. With how tough the course is playing, I think par after missing the fairway off the tee would be something of a reasonable score here. This is going to be a great look at the break. You see it starts left and as we break it up in intervals you can see just how much it heads right and I mean she is nearly spot on with the distance with the speed of that putt. Two birdies and a bogey and what she will expect to be her sixth par on the front nine. A bit of a opening nine to forget. Yam and four over leading up to that putt, which unfortunately also does not find pay dirt for her. It'll be a right to left as she needs to really balance the speed here. That's near perfection, but it's not quite going to get all the way there. Birdie's at one, five, and nine. Bogey at seven as she went out with the 34. She starts the back nine with the par. Gets it back online, but really overhit. Less of a glance and more of a rebound off the left side of the hole before popping back out for Min Ji. You can see by about four feet, Iso Young starting this putt at 10 to the right. Down it goes, putter in the oh, air. Yeah willing it to drop and it does just that. She had to work for it and Lotte sponsored athlete has another birdie for the scorecard as we go to 11. I think back to the left she goes pretty much every Available centimeter to the left of the green. Not quite going to get pin high to stop with that slope. It's going to keep on rolling and might have some more travel in it yet. That was a must have for Bung Min Ji to save par. Rare we see her miss one putt, let alone two in a row. Not quite as scintillating as we've grown to expect from the Consistently formidable Fung Minji. This is headed right. How far right is the question? Work out quite well. 
It's a very good accounting for of where in the green is the best place to arrive with the bunker, with the rough. You really don't have much pristine real estate to keep yourself within birdie range, and really you can't strike the ball much better than that. Two meters for a Yi Jung Min. She had to battle for her par. It is par indeed at the end. Over the bunkers she will go from the center of the fairway EA1. That's pretty close to a replay of the shot we just saw from our group mates uh, a few moments ago. Two great approach shots having been played at 10. This time the backspin helps in the Swedes' favor. generally aren't many competitors who are taller than a young mean out there, but I definitely put the 23 year old in that category. Curious one how never really seem to have a chance. <laughs> so far from straight and level, but just a misread. Their part the last she is able to protect that one underscore as Yi Jung Min begins her back nine. A hop, skip, and a jump through the fairway. That's what she would have hoped for on the ninth, but back to regulation to start the ocean course. Sounded pure off the tee, and the eye test matches the ear test. Struck with quite a bit of venom. Len Grant, that's her best putt of the day, and it's not particularly close. Rocking back on her heels, she was hopeful, but not confident that it would drop being a bit frustrated with the amount of pars on the front nine. She's rewarded with a nice birdie 
One of the many reverse grips we're starting to see proliferate the game more and more. Three for three off the tenth tee. This starts to break, just runs out of speed. Wouldn't say Amy Jung is putting necessarily poorly, but it's the setup shot that's asking quite a bit of that club. that swagger back. That's how you like to start the season. Now we ate one. Struck putt to reward herself with the birdie. Gazing down from our perch above the 10th fairway, we will have each member of this group some position in the fairway. Decent little grouping and at this point in the day starting to get chewed up, especially in the middle. on the mark when it is in a divot like it was. Relatively light winds at the green, a little left to right when the breeze does pick up. She comes awfully close to getting stuck in the rough once again, but enough pace on that approach shot to bounce through the third cut, through the fairway, into a position she will appreciate on the green. Now she just needs to sort that putter out after the three putt bogey at the last. Such luck for Yi Jungmin. She follows a similar path, but a little bit more loft. Doesn't give her the top spin she needed to get out.
That's another one that's going to start left to right, straighten out and come back at the end. Oh my goodness, I don't know the last time I saw that. That was going well wide, but the ball marker knocks it back on line, and that is going to end up as a birdie. You need to be good to be lucky, and sometimes it's lucky to have a good result like that. That's one of the quirks. The same round, we've seen two approach shots have the balls collide into each other, and now a ball marker playing setup. Pak Yang Young didn't need any help with that short birdie make, just a few feet out, and she's picked up another. Good run she is constructing on this back nine. Stuck on the slope but not able to reach all the way. <laughs> was a bogey free round, eight birdies. Jung Soo Yi, Hong Ji on with the 67, Yi So Young on 11 after that fortuitous bounce for birdie is the closest of anyone still competing, though Buck Young Young through 11 is at three under. It's Chung Xiu, EA1, the sophomore, one hole further back on course, also in a tie for fourth at three under par.
just out of the rough and really close for Yi Jung Min as she will finish off her, you can almost not even call that a putt when she's using the wedge to nudge it the rest of the way. Three fifteen local time here on Jeju. And the approach shot can't hit the brakes in time and that's off towards the fringe and will roll the rest of the way down towards the hazard. It's a bit of an unfortunate one for Im Hee Jung. to left putt for Bung Min Ji as she tries to rebound after the bogey. Oh, gets a piece, but not quite enough. Nice no strokes gained and still one over. for a much better bit of backspin. EA1 looking, well, at least early returns. She's not slowing down any heading into the new season. deeper on the green, but two of three from this group able to find the dance floor. Jung Min reaching for a little bit more power. Doesn't seem there's much concern on the face there. Had eyes for the rough for a moment, but gets a nice bound into the fairway. And this is the path thus far at 12. 226 meters down, 97 to go. That's a brilliant drive on the par four. She is very much surging up this leaderboard. towards the pin, maybe using up most of her luck on that last hole. So we head to the tee with Peng Min Ji. Into the trees, knocked down by the branch and that's gonna stop in the sand. We've seen a drive off the heel, it's looking like a drive off the toe and headed for the forest. Actually quite fortuitous for it to kick back out even into the bunker. Great up from Mimi Jung just before the sprinkler head. Can't overstate how impressive it is in this sport, in life really, but especially in this sport, your short-term memory. Have a miss hit or a bad shot, it's all about the next one. 
how do I recover, how to make the best out of the situation, and Amy Jung is one of the best at it. Was that the last that she converted on a putt from a similar distance? The closer we see the field through the green, the stronger of a reminder how topsy-turvy the greens can be here at Lotte Sky Hill. Marginal break, but right on the money, A1. Moves into a tie for third with East Young up to four under par. It's still early days in this back nine. She certainly has enough in the locker to make a push. Trying to decide between the lob wedge and the putter. Chooses the former. Just wants to make sure she's able to lift this up, land it a few feet on the green, and let the downhill take it the rest of the way, though she is playing into the wind. To guess based on body language with the thicket of humanity in front of us. <laughs> yeah. I think she made the right decision in her club selection. Almost got it all the way there. Six meters off the tee into those trees and plopping Wing Min Ji right into this bunker. Short of the green, but avoids going sand to sand. That putter is in the air. That's often a sign that she's confident in a birdie. Moved her into a time for second position. She nearly had it there, too. Taps it in the rest of the way for a par. 12 holes down, six to go, and four back. the wind blowing 
left to right. That's a beautiful little zip. Needs to stop any time. Let's leave her with about four meters of work to do. Six players at that two under mark. Now a tie for 11 with some of the movement above them in the leaderboard. Also six players in that tie for fifth mark at three under, including the young Chinese golfer, Li Xu Ying, who you see right there at the top of page two. If not for her bogey at 18, she would also be in a tie for third at four under par, but a nice opening round. Manta Som, also a sophomore, she cards a 71 in her opening round as we near the bottom of the clock, about halfway through our opening round coverage. This is our Thursday action at the 2023 season opener, the Lotte Rent-A-Car Ladies Open.
from Bang Min Ji's effort to get closer to the pin. Yi Jung tails it towards the back. Kirby downhill putt will be next for the veteran. Considering where Yi Jung Min is on the leaderboard, under par, but a ways back. That's where she needs to start connecting. That's one she's going to rue for the foreseeable future. Disappointing par. She is one of the most informed players in these past 90 minutes or so. Didn't quite have the handle on the weight that time. Maybe even the wrong club. She goes all the way back towards the fringe. We'll just I stay on the that. green. As the sun begins to peek out a little bit. Over by G. So you're trying to avoid yet another bogey. And she didn't look up until the end. Maybe a little bit of trepidation, but unable to contain the smile that covered her face as she saw that drop into the hole. ahead to 12. The most striking feature, of course, is the big pond off the left of the fairway. It's a 323 meter par four. Big wide fairway with which to contend. And then it narrows on the way down to the green with the pot bunker to the front right. Pin today, nowhere near that nasty downslope. Back right is where we are aiming towards here at 12. Exception of the tee shot pulled into the rough about four holes ago now. Much fewer difficulties for a Jung Min as she has stitched together four pars in a row. down beneath the fairway able to will be able to just stay on the green uses the fringe as a bumper to keep her club selections down to just putter Some 
Sometimes an uneventful drive is the best kind of drive as G and company are on the walk. Second and 13 for Buck Young Young. Didn't look to catch that perfectly. It was a little bit thin. Might have just cost her the ability to get up the hill, get the loft she needed. She too will head to the front and left fringe. long enough with minimal wind. It's starting to pick up now as our camera operator up on the tower could strongly attest to. It's still a mostly gray day over top of the Lote Sky Hill Country Club here in Jeju with our leader. So he's still maintaining a three stroke lead after an opening round in 64.
What a way to come back from the break. A birdie for EA1. Keeping pace. And now exceeding Lee So Young to five under through 12. Just three back with six to play. That is plenty of time for the sophomore. Such luck from a much more precarious position. Backhand gun. Thinned it, topped it a little bit. That keeps Birdie off the table. And the break never arrives for Yi Jung. That gets all the way level with the hole. Side and no strokes to be gained here. Okay, so young, can she stay with the A1? No, she will not. to the inside. Stagnating a little bit. to be, but Kian <laughs> Gung able to roll in her part to stay at three under. Sure. Oh, a nice kick and roll with the wind. Final bit of guidance over the water and onto brilliant position, really, within about four meters or so over at the par three. Five feet, Bung Minji with a nice effort of her own. Dealing with a bit of an uneven stance in the fairway. Fairly well, Yi Jung Min. It's in realistic par territory beyond the flag. A bit of a cold streak here. for So Young, who leans at four under.
And the first of the par threes on the back nine, 134. It is the second shortest of the par threes. It is the shortest on the back nine. We will see the final of the round at 17. Over the water, trying to avoid the sand trap. And pretty well from the bottom of your picture, straight ahead by 20 yards find the pin and eight yards to the left on that sort of entryway shooting down towards Halasan the mountain in the background Okay, okay. Takes a lot of concentration and a great deal of adjustment with the wind at your back like that. Pak Yun Gyung with a terrifically struck tee shot at the par three. a long time in the making and unfortunately that long time will have another chapter. See Jung Min didn't see that ball break away whatsoever back online. If anything it might have flexed to the left. Silver lining is that there has only been the one bogey that was at the third. The frustration will be six pars in a row now since she last found a birdie. T shot of the 358 meter par for 13th. Right in the bottleneck fairway, avoiding the bunker, avoiding the rough. It is a bogey-free round. It is three birdies consecutively, and five in the last seven holes. She is becoming one of the absolute best on this tour. Her soft touch on her approach shots to the green. Golf runs in the Grant family. Lynn's grandfather, James, was a Scottish golf pro. He was the one that relocated the family from Inverness to Helsingborg. My dad, John, also played on the Swedish golf tour. Seven wins on the Swedish senior tour.
former world number four in the world amateur golf ranking. Going to sit just beneath pin high. footnote of history for Lynn as well. She became the first woman to win on the European Tour, not the ladies' European Tour. And the formerly known DP World Tour is the Volvo Car Scandinavia Mixed. 78 women and 78 men in that tournament. Cool footnote on the, not even really a footnote, more like a leading line on the CV. Sixth women's world golf ranking with the Rolex rankings. Play For a moment, so we don't might consider backing out with that wind gust that took hold here at the par three, but she's committed in the routine. Starts it inside and just uh, when maybe, probably having a bit of an influence on that as she misses away. Rise for Lynn Grant in the world rankings. She's currently 22nd, so she's even improved upon her positioning from the end of the year. Sitting 21st, just a few points in front of her, is that woman right there, Pung Min Ji. side of the flag bucking gun putting into the wind fortunately for her also going to the right side of the hole watching that against the flag and will pick up her par find some Solace in the fur lined hood as she tries to keep the wind away. In the foreground, that should be an uneventful putt for par. In the background, a rules official nearby making sure that the and soul is played properly. Okay. 
is four under and still outright fourth for so young. Still trying to climb her way back to even. That would have been halfway there for Amy and Jung. Her birdie though in a elongated crescent shape. Is that a bit too much slope to contend with? moment just a quick reset the top two remain unchanged though there is some company in that second position Hong Jian one has become level at that five underscore still with six holes remaining in her round just one spot beneath her he's so young after her par is four back of our leader, which remains Jung Soe. Top-ranked Swede in the world. Still paying a premium for birdies here today. She has the one, but that remains all. One under is the score. One hole closer to the end of her opening round. Of course, Sweden, no stranger to producing some of world's most electrifying golfers. Just the legend is Annika Sorenstam. Best, not just in her day, but of all time. in her day. Third most wins all time on the LPGA Tour. 17th on the LET. 7 on the LPGA of Japan. Oh. And a collection of uh, 11 others. A1 is hoping that sooner rather than later in 2023 she will have her very first downhill putt to avoid a bogey. Nerves of steel to prevent a drop. Well, over at 13, that Lonely bunker on the right has become more frequented, frequented, excuse me, a little more often than perhaps we'd expect, especially from someone of Bung Min Ji's caliber. Finds herself in a tough spot. How does she recover? Gazing down to see if she meets the green or makes the green and is not quite able to get all the way there. She can certainly take over a tournament from jump. 
often we see those charges late or later in the weekend. And that ball needed to hit the brakes. Unable to do so, and no doubt the wind playing a factor. It does stop before the tall grass, separating the par three from the water. Jen Wien's approach at 13, down to the tie for 19th. Rand's about pin high, will be about seven meters to its left. She is on, but with still some mileage to overcome. I haven't seen many go that drastically right. Let's see how Lynn Grant fares. <laughs> further out, though she is also on the green, which is not something everyone in the group can say. Now everyone avoiding the water in this particular instant. journey to minimize the damage. That means you leaving yourself at about six feet. Jungmin at long last ends the dry streak. Can play that hole much better than she had done. Finishes off on 13 with the bird. It is her first since the seventh hole, just her third of the day. Breaks just in time, mere centimeters from the OB line. Basically the same motion as a putt. Nice and level, gets underneath it, lifts it up over the fringe and then about three feet and should be able to maintain her positioning at five under.
Well, one of the more convoluted paths to par, but par nevertheless. Offering a bit of course correction for Miss Grant. Still at even, just one par three remaining. Drawn to the inside. I don't think the putter has quite fully awoken for the new year. From near disaster, almost into the splash zone. A1 in joint second will stay just there. Four holes remaining in her opening round Thursday. to the right, just in the middle of the green. Safe and uneventful, but moving into the unlikely column that Lee Jung-min can go two games back to back. G and down to break we will head tense for a moment for EA1 as she neared the water hazard but stayed on the green just enough and was able to recover with a chip and a putt for par. She shares second place with Hong Jian and Yi Soo Young remaining an outright fourth at four under par. Pak Ju Young amongst those tied at two under. We'll step aside briefly and be back with more from the Lotte Sky Hill Country Club here on Jeju.
34 and 108 meters remaining. So we're on the first to play here at 15. Another effort over the water with the sand poking its head out. Neither a factor as that is one of the best approach shots we have seen in the last nearly two and a quarter hours. That is mere inches away from an eagle and almost certainly going to return a1 to joint runner up. See how Yang Gung is able to follow suit. Relatively quiet since her birdie at 11 remains her only on the back nine. Picked up a stroke at 1, 5, and 9 as well. One bogey of the day was at the 7th much more direct line towards the flag. Not quite enough to get all the way through the fringe. Be a disappointing one as she will contemplate a putt or a chip. Never say never from there. Still very much on the cards. G with an outside chance of birdie. Good read of that putt. I mean, can go up again. Beneath the scoreboard is where the hole was, just a few inches further forward. Hits the brakes a bit too early. Doing her best to not step in the line of either of her group mates. She'll settle for yet another par. that line was. I think it might have might have had a chance with a bit more speed. Delayed the break. And all hypotheticals to which we won't ever have the answer. Looks straight for the reality, likely a little bit more complicated, especially when par is at stake, and that is precisely the unfortunate outcome. As it is another drop shot, just been a slow, sluggish start to the round to the season. large enough sample size that it is nowhere near time to sound any kind of alarm. Park Yin Gyung in the end did elect to grab the putter from her bag. Probably her best shot at holding out. About 10 centimeters to the left and she is another player currently stuck 
in a bit of a lull at the minute as we go ahead and take a look at 15, the first of the par fives on the back nine. In fact, it is the longest hole in the entire course, half a kilometer in length. If you're really ambitious, you can cut about 15 meters out from your remaining distance going over the water. Not a shot for the faint of heart. 240 meters from there, if you can really crush the ball, then those bunkers would be a factor, but not quite <laughs> a contention, a possibility, unless the wind is really at everybody's back. From there, a very narrow bit of fairway that goes all the way down to the hole just on the right side of that single pot bunker. And the pin placement today here at 15, we find the hole just immediately on the front right of the green in this opening round. There was a brief spell about 45 minutes ago where we were seeing birdies all over the course. Had a bit of a pause in that department for the time being. It's the most overcast day that we are forecasted to see this weekend. It'll be a mixture sun and cloud tomorrow and then only partially cloudy for the weekend with temperatures increasing every single day. It's a positive sign for the fields. There's some courses that we'll see in a few months that would probably still have some snow on it the further north we went. Jacqueline with her first not going with the riskier path over the water. Comfortably into the first pocket of fairway. We'll return to the par five in a moment. At least the T blocks of the par five. We will go to 16. Jing Xiu was one of the most dynamic players in our opening hour of coverage. She has since cooled off slightly. Pung Min Ji's drive is next. Now over par, down in the tie for 40 seconds. She is comfortably in the fairway as well. Side. That's one that she would typically be able to make with her eyes closed. That's routine. Falls to seven back of the lead after that boke.
approach shot down the narrow stretch of fairway from Amy Jung. Misses the green altogether. Shot for a one. Three quarters of a swing with the wedge. Gets it all the way up and also curling in brilliantly. Three players tied for second. Might not last very long after scintillating approach shot like that. Move within two. Should she be able to convert on the putt from about five feet away? Shot on 15 for Bucky and Young. Not quite automatic, but a respectable approach. why we haven't seen much of Chihen Sol in this opening round Thursday is the score plus four. She is able to avoid the sand though she didn't have a wide runway with the bunker off to the left just willing a mistake. comes to fruition at just the right time. It's a brilliant up. Trying to keep pace with the A1. Closer to the finish line, she swung herself out of her grip a little bit. Didn't cost her a ton in the approach category, but it is a little bit further out. As we move along, back with Lynn Grant, who is adorned the snood. Just hasn't had the consistency, much success really at all with the putter today. 
prevented her from gaining a ton of momentum for any prolonged stretch. Lee Jungmin was seemingly convinced on release that she was headed for the rough, but gets a kick to keep her in the fairway. Chance to move into outright second. Just a little tap, and she hasn't missed anything from that range today. Six under. On pace for a 66, but don't count her out to the lead just yet. Still three holes to play, not out of the realm of possibility. to be five foot for Bung Min Ji with her second at 15. Yeah. Par fives are significantly less daunting when you have that kind of control. You can just pick your way, bounce across the fairway becomes the minimum expectation at this level. What is the true separator is the approach game and the putting. Had been a clinic earlier in the day in both of those categories from our leader. Downhill nature of this putt, this location rather, gives Chi Han Sol the confidence to putt for the birdie. Couldn't count on two hands the amount of times she was able to convert from a lie position like that just off the green. She is definitely one of the more expressive players on tour. Doesn't take a mind reader to figure out how she's feeling at any given moment. Often gives you the answer herself and an unfortunate and a bit frustrated sigh tells you how this Thursday has gone. bit more offset to the right. I mean, she's spending more time in the air over the water, but not a factor. Fortunately, not enough to get past that last little bit of fairway. So she will hold steady just before the green. Seeing you so young and EA1 essentially go shot for shot. Last hour or so. They haven't spent too much time separated in the leaderboard, and that trend nearly continued as Iso Young again thought she had it. A little too firm, the putt that time. Again, it, it's a high risk, high reward method of attack with that much speed. Often confident that she's able to locate the flag and assist her down.
it started good. It looked promising. I would agree initially with that patron. Fortunately, with a little bit extra carry, that's what makes the pin placement so difficult today. Four and four, front and right on the green. Tied for fifth and still in a tie for fifth as Pak Yang Kyung becomes, or gets, excuse me, right on the verge of a birdie. She has been chasing for quite some time now. Tied for fifth after the first round. I think most players in the field would take that without much argument. You leave strokes on the table. A little bit more frustrated. It's one of the perks of being a bit later in the round. Start to see a few different faces. from a chance to keep pace with the A1 to trying to avoid falling back. It is as uneventful as you'd expect from about four feet out and even less distance for Bak Young Young. She stays at three under with few holes remaining in her opening round Thursday. Hangs her head in a bit of frustration as she marches off the green. And a little pitch to get back up onto the green with her group mates. Two doubles and bogey on the day for Pak Bogyam. No birdies to report as of yet. Just a little bit off the table there that time, Yi Jung Min. Nine's hopes at birdie rest on the shoulders of Bung Min Ji, who would love nothing more than to get back to even. She really took her time scouting out the line of this putt. Maybe a little of game simulation thinking about the weekend. Oh, well, that's exceptional. Absolutely brilliant. Her longest birdie of the day, one of her best shots all in and just as Bung Min Ji starts to cascade down the leaderboard a little bit, she 
reminds everyone of her nearly unlimited quality. You could just tell by the way she was checking every little angle, every little break. And she wanted that one and the extra bit of preparation pays off. Very interesting group, this 27. You have EA1, the sophomore, who goes the first five holes, all pars. Then the birdie brigade began. She sits at six under in second, as we are consistently being reminded of in the bottom right corner of the screen. You have Amy Jung, who bogeyed two of her first five holes and has parred all the way since. And Lynn Grant, who birdied 10 bogey 12 and has been part of the rest of the way she's almost a perfect in between of the two only birdie of the day for so young came at two six birdies otherwise certainly has a few good luck charms, maybe even in the golf bag today from the bizarre but brilliant deflection off the ball marker for a birdie to a moment like that where it seemed like rough was the destination, but she gets a pleasant push back into the fairway. One with three last chances at a birdie. She needs two of them if she wants a shout at a share of the lead. Not really the most profound plan of attack there. Too much to the left, which is always easier said than done. Now Park Yang Yang. It is wide left, and there will be no cheeky chip or putt after missing the green this time. That's going to take a full wedge to get up and out of the rough. Significantly less dramatic than her group mate Pugman G's birdie, but still a positive end to the hole. Chan Sol gets a kick, gets close, but is going to stop up on the front fringe. Needs to stop in a hurry, and the backspin comes in just in time. Nearly perfectly pin high. 99 times out of 100, she will convert on the forthcoming short putt.
like she went for a little bit more on that swing. A bit of a heat check. Winded her back. Helps push that further down the fairway. where Fung Min Ji and company are headed. Improbable, but we don't count out EA1 at this point. Teltask that one. Gets herself back within a few meters and should have no such problems. She has putt absolutely brilliantly today. So we go to 17. Not just short, but significantly short here on the par three. Which is a little unfortunate with where that landed. Sort of caught the border of the fringe in the green and didn't quite slow her up enough. Call that par putt straight forward. But e equidistant. Marimi Jung played her approach, although it was her third. Okay. All the way to salvaging a par. 16 down. She remains just outside of the top 50. jostling for position in the early stages of the tournament. You can see she's just stuck outside the top 10 because there are so many at three under. 69 was a popular score today. Just a little tap from four feet and EA1 has her par. Needs an eagle or two birdies to have a share of the lead, but so far so good. Hasn't been much at all to critique in her game in this opening round. It's also just very difficult to contend with someone who goes 64 in the opener. Back in Gang with the bump and run down through the fringe and about four feet shy of her par. Side of the crest. That's where we await the next shot. Final checks of the wind, and that's the better view with the mountainous backdrop. It's up through the rough, over the bunker, trying to keep it tight to the front of the green. Meanwhile, there's elevation changes and wind and this extremely thick and at this point in the round still wet rough just hasn't been enough sun to dry it out. Let's see what Bakpogiam is able to conjure up here. Plus seven, she is a bottom percentile and at the risk of missing the cut unless there is a drastic improvement tomorrow. 
She's able to reach, but not going to do much to assist that score. Having said that, it's about what you could have expected after another tee shot gone awry. Much more favorable line for Bung Min Ji. is T29, one under is inside the top 20. Likely to stay in the former category as she has a immediate debrief about the club selection there. Even with the wind at everybody's back, some blustery conditions, there is no one inside of 12 or 13 meters after all the approaches are said and done here. from the fringe that ends up about six feet short. Jian Sol, one of a couple dozen players that is hoping that today is just about shaking off the cobwebs. As we go to 18 on Jin Sun at plus three. Conditions, the remaining distance, that's a decent effort from there. Made the lie a little less precarious than it appeared to be on the surface. So Young trying to avoid a drop. Again, she goes with more power, hoping she's online. And it ends up costing her. These occasions have been few and far between for the top Lotte sponsored athlete in the field. She had not carted a single bogey since the second hole. There had been six birdies between them, but she will go down here at 17. best but certainly a very competitive opening round for Pak Young Young with one more hole to try and take that outright fifth position. Flair for the dramatic at the end, but she Han Sol keep herself at plus four. Training that par and now to make the confirmation of bogey official. The only thing 
is going to change on the leaderboard as Hung Jian is going to lose her T3. It's just going to say three. And Yi So Young will get a four beside her name now. She goes down to four under. Joining Lee Jung Min on 16. <coughs> A slim but not impossible look at Birdie. Just needed a fraction more power and it was all the way there. She saw the path and executed on it. And for the vet, she is certainly about 80% of the way there. I think there's a lot of positives to take despite not really having the birdies to show for it today. Doing a lot of good things in her first appearance of the year. Final par three of the day for EA1. technically misses the green if not for the initial downhill only to come back up so it wouldn't counter out of it she hasn't played the par threes particularly well none of her six birdies have come on these shorter holes Minji abandons that a little bit early start to walk it in without a little bit of swagger in your step, it's because you know there's going to be one more putt to be had. Penultimate tee shot for Amy Jung. Follows a similar path, trailblazed by her much younger group mate, EA1. Short and left. Grant has played well enough today to deserve a little bit more than the letter E beside her name after 18. She has two last attempts to get under. She'll be the only one of the lot to reach the green. Looks to be about eight or nine meters out mostly flat. Well, the putter has been her Achilles heel today, so we'll see if she's able to find a little bit of late round magic momentarily. While we wait for them to reach the green, let's head to 18. Tipping around on a par five and not quite in the atmosphere where she needed to be on that putt, unfortunately. Will be a night of reflection on what could have been where she had been a few hours ago to where she would end up finishing the day far from a poor opening round in fact I think she will have a lot to like the 
putter cooled off. And with it, so did the scores. Frustrating day at the office, but it is always nice to end on a par. Well, we are officially through our first three hours and the opening event of the season. Clock having just passed 5 p.m. local time with only a couple of holes remaining for our few feature groups still out there and all eyes will be firmly fixed upon EA1 who is two shots back with two to play. Birdie looking a little bit unlikely on 17 but hey, never say never and yes, that bogey for Iso Young drops her to sole possession of fourth position at four under. We'll step aside, reset and be back in just a few moments as we continue to see the groups work their way towards the clubhouse at Lote Sky Hill. Border of the rough, a pitch in close. Nice to see the small. 
smile adorned the face of Vimy Jung. Hasn't been a ton score-wise to bring that smile out, but a good shot certainly warrants it. Lovely little kick with the third, certainly assisted with the wind at the back of Park Young Young. When she is at her very best, which we have seen on multiple occasions on this tour, that is a putt that she stands over confidently. Take the two, 17 holes down, one to play for EA1, looking like she should comfortably finish in sole possession of second. It'll just be a matter of 65 or 66, assuming all goes to Chuck. Spin to about seven feet out. Should be able to get her birdie back. Take quite the putt, but she never lacks for confidence with that club in her hands. ちょっと出たら誰も当てよ。잘 needing another few moments to prepare for that putt at 18. In the meantime, we'll head back to the par three. Lynn Grant, yes. A little bit of heat in that putter at last and she gets back under par. Rewarded for her persistence and consistency. It's a nice putt.
A few roars. <laughs> Probably in that last in there as well. Again, Young with the win. No. Tails away. Looked for the first half of the putt that there was a really good chance there. through take some mark and we'll reset Pung and Jake and she at last go back to back for her birdies, even with only two holes to play. Par three and a par five to end the day. Not quite going to be able to hang on to the green, but will likely decide to still putt from there. of the fist in celebration. Might be as much relief as it is excitement. So no reason it can't be both. shot also made a beeline to the left but rough is where it landed See a bit of a birdie parade here as Lee So Young does finish the round on a high. Back into a tie for third where she was for so long. 67 is a brilliant score. Dealt with a little bit of adversity. The difference really that separates her from the top two is a couple of bogeys to bring her down. Otherwise, lots of great putts, lots of great saves a little bit of luck i'm sure we'll see that in the first round highlights in about 15 minutes time and a 69 for a share of fifth steady day i think is the best way to summarize the effort from Puck Yang young definitely still more to unlock and luckily for us she has three more days to do so Oh, so close from a tough spot. Just slows up at the very end. Not quite hanging over the hole, but it is just a nudge.
let's see just what level that last birdie unlocked for Bung Yin Ji. I think there was significantly more break to that putt than Bung Yin Ji would have been expecting. Dropped her head down in a mixture of disappointment and confusion. This is the gaggle at 18. Furthest from the pin is Im Hee Jung. A bit unfortunate with the backspin. Right on the mark. Assisted by the wind, but being downhill and with much more difficult the back side of that green is compared to where she finished. I think she'll take it. She patiently waits her turn. Bogyam is trying to avoid going down again. Tied for 111th. Similarly, though there is still one more hole for her to play, that is where Chana Na had finished this opening day. She had an injury riddled season unfortunately in 2022 and first and foremost she'll be hoping for good health this season a chance to compete in a few more of these competitions as it stands she'll have 30 to do so that unfortunate yeah. break on the putt costs Bung Min Ji her time at even par she also looks skywards, searching for answers from a higher power. Should be noted, no Yuhe ran in the field this week. Obviously, that is one of the biggest stars away from competition. Let's go to the Grant. One under now, her final hole of the day. It's a case where the backspin is going to help her out a great deal. Again, she gets to close to pin high and a little bit further out than her birdie putt from 17. Could be a statement of intent, hang around that top 20 all day. And if she could go birdie birdie to finish the day, she'd move up to a tie for 11th. For me, A1, we'd expect nothing less. Can't imagine she'll be higher than a 66, but I wouldn't put a 65 past her either. You know, we're in the home stretch when we can do one last hole preview for the day. It is 18. 
It is 444 yards. That is 490 meters. From the tee blocks, you go uphill towards the cart path that dissects the fairway. Water off to the right, and then the five bunkers in a line all the way down the left side. Your second shot should leave you with nothing more than a wedge. And from there, fairly deep as we've seen the past little while on the green that kind of slopes like a sinal wave there. Down and up and back down again all the way towards the back of the green. And you got the clubhouse, Halasan, and the beautiful waterfall feature just off to the right. course wrap up our feature groups here and go through first round highlights in about 15 minutes time when the last of the groups come through one for one to the fairway with the Jung Min having the honor still to go first for 55th before this putt is struck. Another case where the line was right where it needed to be, just not quite the power required to get all the way there. from Bung Min Ji, who is in a battle to finish with a 72. Fortunate snap to the right for the Swede. So she finishes with a two putt par. And her debut to LPGA Tour of Korea supporters and to the tour is a 71 on this blustery Thursday on Jeju. Tied for 29th as the dust settles. A1, just as we'd expect. It is another brilliant performance from one of the young stars. Can't quite call her a rising star anymore. She has been good and continues that positive momentum. A bogey free round, 65. It's a bit of a slow start. Birdies for the first five holes, which I know at that point is really splitting hairs. She was okay. just about able to go shot for shot with Chung Sui and definitely will be one of the favorites heading into the weekend once we get there. It's 
also get the conclusion of the round for Amy Jung, who didn't have a single birdie today. Finishes with a 74, bogeys at two and five. Further through 18 we go. Uneventful second shots, as we might expect. Jung Min, business as usual thus far. Muffs on with a blast down. Tina 속으로는 좀 화도 내고 자책도 하는데 겉으로는 그렇지 않은 척 빨리 다음 샷을 준비하려고 합니다. 저는 100% J입니다. 저는 늘 어, 계획 하에 제가 계획한 샷과 그런 생각으로 플레이를 합니다. 저의 MBTI는 ESTJ입니다. Oh, yeah, that's an exclamation point. It's a way to take a lot of frustration, uncharacteristic mistakes from her, especially on the teeing grounds. And it has really been a yo yo. It seems like she pick up a stroke, like she did at five, finally found a birdie, then bogey, then birdie, back to back bogeys, two pars before her birdie at 12 to get even, and then down, up, down again trying to finish with one final bird to cancel out uh, a day of missed opportunities for last season's Lenny Champ. Someone who was just outside the top 20 across the globe as well. Hi Jung Min, clean contact, noticeable left to right wind. rule that out just yet despite the backspin taking her a little bit further to the front than would have been preferred reset for our friends on the 
in domestic broadcasting front who had just stepped away for a break, a little time shifting. But yes, we are on the green at 18. We have a probable look at birdie, a marginal look at birdie and a likely par to come. It's never that simple. day without many birdies on the scorecard would have been a nice way to end a significantly quieter start to the season in fact no birdies to be found she's not quite out of the woods from bogey territory again it would be her third of the day a couple of doubles which really inflated that score Jung Min, who is looking to leapfrog from outside the top 10 to share of fifth, needs this birdie. Might not have the speed, it doesn't. Even with a little bit more, probably offline, so she'll settle for a 70. Two under, that has her in a share of 11th. It's the type of day where you look at the bulk, the majority of what she was able to accomplish, and you think there's a lot of good there to build on. Tomorrow, heading into the weekend, it becomes capitalization. Putts like this that she knows she can make will separate a contender from someone just on the outside looking in. It's about six feet. Our 79th stroke of the day. And too much and underneath. So an unfortunate start to the season. It is another bogey. Tied for 113 out of 120. To get to 72, finish the day even. The up and down ride continues for her. Can she get to that mystical 72? Yeah. She can. Yeah. Up to tie for 29th inside the top 30. Nice finish to the round. Our 
final feature group makes their way off the course. It has been a lovely three and a half hours or so as we welcome back the LPGA Tour of Korea. Say hello to a new season. And just before we say goodbye, we will go through some of the round highlights. Let's begin on 16. At this point, it was straight up to six under par without a bogey in sight. Chung So Yi showing off the touch around the greens, a little bit of backspin. Give her about a five footer. Push her up to seven under par and yes, a remarkable back nine. Five birdies at that point and there would be more to follow from there. Seven under, heading to 18 now just on the other side of the sand traps and with the soft greens and the willingness to go for the pin, well, more often than not, you get rewarded for it. That is a 30 on the way in. Absolutely remarkable to go along with her birdies at five and seven. That put her all the way up at the top with a 64. And that's the difference, and we saw it plenty through the feature groups that we followed throughout the day. It was the conversions, especially those mid-range putts. These ones, they grab your attention, they catch the eye, and they certainly help a score. But it's the ability to connect on those six or seven footers that would really go on to, to make a world of difference. It was a slow start, relatively speaking, for EA1. The first five holes, all pars. And then from there, well, the sophomore, she just found that other gear, started to connect on more and more putts, and even had a little bit of luck on her side from time to time. And I said it before, I'll say it again, good to be lucky and lucky to be good. She just found that zone and quite frankly, never looked back, especially on the back nine. She just lit this course up. So confidence and execution. You don't always have both. Sometimes it's one or the other. But they often follow in a nice partnership. And again, at that point, collecting those birdies. Six, seven, and ten. She'd find four more of them without a bogey the rest of the way. We will see a fair bit of them. This is the oddest shot of the day, going nowhere near the hole, but a little bit of a carom for Iso Young. Back to back at that point, she only had the one bogey through the first Baker's dozen holes or so. Came early in the round, and there wouldn't be many towards, until the end, excuse me, towards the end. This was at 12 just on the fringe, step onto the green and connecting once again. That was three in a row, up to five under she would go, and we'll go to 15. This narrow stretch of fairway on the lead up to the green, and she sticks it close. A little bit of backspin keeps her within two, three meters. Again, going back to that lesson of converting on the opportunities. When you are in the hunt for a title, those mid-range putts do not daunt you. And it's the difference from a round full of pars and very little upward climb to rounds like this where you are really pushing for one of the prime positions. It's far from over. We start with a four-rounder, which is fitting, but we saw the signs that we saw Often for me at one, the difference was in 2022, she wasn't able to take that final step. Despite everything she accomplished last year, she was just not able to take that last little push to get to the top. Might this be her week? Might it be a sign of things to come? Should she go on to win this tournament? Well, we have a lot of golf still to be played before we can start to make those big proclamations. But hey, it is very good signs early in the season for EA1. She is one stroke back of our leader, Chung So Yi, who shot a remarkable bogey-free round of 64. E so Young with her birdie at the end, back up into a tie for third, a five under 67, and then we start to get busy on the leaderboard. Six players tied at three under, including Pak Ji Young, 
and Sunju with the 69 as well. She is the first name amongst those at three under par. The Chinese golfer Li Shuying also shooting a three under 69 to finish as the last player inside of the top 10. On to the next page of the leaderboard, Pak Young Young. She turned it up a little bit towards the end. She would have a three under 69 as well. Then we see the likes of Pak Ju Young, Lee Jung Min, who we saw quite a bit of on this Thursday, tied at that two underscore with Song Gaun, a 70. Seven players at that mark from there. While the big <laughs> contingent of players tied in those under par scores continued with 12 of them, including Lee Da Yun, Jung Shiu, who Looked at times like she might push for a spot further forward on the leaderboard, but couldn't quite connect on those birdie putts. She is also at that one under mark, as is Lynn Grant. Great to see the Swede, and great to see the Swede dialing it up towards the end. She was peaking at the right time, and will take a ton of that confidence into tomorrow's third round. Towards the top 30, will we see Peng Min Ji? The yo-yo day for her. Uh, I think it's going to be one where she wants to smooth out some of the drives some of the tee shots that saw her bogey five different times today her five birdies of course canceled it out but you'd have to think without it she even if there's only a couple of them she'd be up with the likes of Pak Ji Young in and around that three under par but again still 54 holes of golf to be played plenty of time to iron out some of those wrinkles especially this early in the season now he won she is still out on course she is on pace for a 72 and there are a few more in and around that even par mark, but there aren't many still competing that are within the top 30 at this point. Kime Reem, a plus one of 73 in this opening round. Big Subin, An Song Yi, Zhang Jimin too. Days that are okay, average, they'll take them. It keeps you inside the top 50, and with all the golf still to be played, there is time to make that push. But from there, there is a relatively steep drop in towards those frustrating rounds, we can call them. Mimi Jung certainly had one of them, plus two there. You see you're tied for 56th, and there are 13 players at that mark at plus two. Could be a few more as the day finishes. Further down, tied for 69th, there are another 11 or so, including Chi Han Sol. We saw her 75 in great detail, Chung Yoon Ji. Bit of a sluggish start to her 2023 season. Kim Soo Ji at that mark as well. And some big names like Im Jini, Pak Giel, who are there. Further down, we get towards the top 80. That's where we see the Pak Bo Mi's of the world and the Yi So Mi, who certainly knows how to win this tournament. She has done that a fair few times in her career. Further down, that is where we start to see a few surprises Kim Yu being a 77 today Chan U Ri was down just couldn't quite figure her game out one of the biggest surprises maybe a little bit of optimism from some supporters that Chan Na might be a little bit more competitive at least to start but uh, I think she'll take the slow and steady approach as the focus will be on health fitness and just being able to play tournaments pain free there's Pak Giel, as mentioned she had soul Pak Bo Mi at that tie for 80 mark, and you think already with just one round in the books, you have the leader at eight under, and you have these players who are 12 strokes back. It is a, it is a gulf between the top 50 and, and down into this mark. Kim Subin, she's still out on course, plus four, hoping to pick up a couple more strokes as she gets closer to the finish line in this opening round. Shin Eugene, Kim Subin, Maso Young, all either on pace or having carded those 76s. I mean, Song a 77 today. Kan Cheyun, Yi Soon Yan as well. Just not quite in the the momentum and the energy of a start, which is to be expected. It is early days. It is the first round of the season. Some players really ramp up their training. Some have been doing it long enough that they don't need to be really pushing too, too much until they get to the point of the season where things are a little bit back in the flow. It just becomes muscle memory at that point. There is Janana, as we mentioned. 79 on the day, Isugi 2. She is on pace to match that, playing on the last hole and the final page of the leaderboard. 
Speaking of disappointing days out there, Hung Jung Mi would have been hoping for a bit more than a plus eight in the opening round. Kim Na Hyun, Napak Bo Gyum, Lee Ju Hyun, An Ji Hyun, also either on 80s or on pace for them. Lee Che Yun Two and Chung Ju Won round out the field. And that, not only was it a mouthful, but it exhausts our leaderboard. And it was absolutely delightful to be back. Can't thank you enough for joining us today for the first of many rounds this season. Hopefully we'll get the weather forecast to stay consistent with a bit more sun and a bit warmer conditions tomorrow. And hey, we are on the march towards our first title of the season. That's going to do it for me. I've been Adam Jenkins. Again, thank you so much. And uh, tip of the cap to our SBS Golf crew for not only the new graphics package, but also just getting back into the swing of things. I wish you a fantastic rest of your evening, and we look forward to welcoming you back to the Lotte Sky Hill Country Club here on Jeju tomorrow, same place, same time. But for now, we say good evening and so long.